All right, so that wraps up the season series, the little four game series against the Ducks. Doesn't wrap up in a nice way, but uh, it does for Ryan Miller. Want to give him a congratulations for just an amazing career, Hall of Famer for sure. Um, you know, and as an American, uh, I've always looked up to, you know, kind of the hometown hockey heroes, and uh, he's definitely a Team USA hero and legend. And, you know, he's been uh, he's been in the Pacific for quite a while, for the end of his career, and he always gives the Kings fits. He does tonight. Um, not that the Kings really put up any kind of fight against him, but still, uh, big congratulations to him. Also, congratulations to Bjornfoot for getting his first goal. That's nice to see because um, I think there's a lot of you know, a lot of, uh, well, big future ahead of him. And uh, it's a nice little goal. I mean, in the last video I said, when's the last time someone sniped the puck on the Kings past the goalie? And, hey, he does snipe it there. It was a nice pass from Kempe. Other than that, I mean, this this game, uh, you, you kind of knew it was going to happen. I mean, the Kings played so bad in the, in the game yesterday. Um, Quick bailed them out, and that was, that was the reason they, they won. Tonight, Cal, a um, little bit of a rough game for him. Zero help. Zero help defensively. Um, so it's it's not like he was at fault for the loss or anything like that. But at the same time, you know, it is um, it is a little frustrating seeing his numbers just keep going down. And, you know, it feels like it's been a little bit since he's had a really good performance in net. But like I said, that's not, that's not really his fault. It really is just... It's what I said in the last game. I mean, the Kings, they have a lack of effort and a lack of skill. And uh, the effort wasn't there tonight. It hasn't been in a long time. This The lack of skill tonight was offensive, yes, but mainly defensive. There's just, uh, you know, there's just a lot of players who don't, it, it looks like they don't know what they're doing. I mean, um, you know, you talk about the first line and, and you know, I follow Kopitar really good defensively, but you know, a couple bad decisions on their part, a couple bad decisions on Dewey's part, bad decision on Velarde's part. I mean, it was uh, it was a rough game to watch. And it sucks because, you know, when you look at the Ducks, it's it's funny to laugh at them. Haha, ha, you're in last place. Uh, you know, you're not scoring any goals. But you got to give them credit. Like, at least they're, they're throwing their young guys out there. And those young guys are getting, you know, really good experience. They're doing well. Um I mean, they even benched Getzloff in the last game. I mean, that's a that's a big move to bench your captain so that your young guys can get more ice time. And it's something that the Kings, you know, maybe waited too long to do. I mean, I was very, very critical of Rob Blake not dealing Athanasiu at the deadline, not dealing Ayafalo at the deadline. Um, because I just don't, I don't know what the future is going to look like with those guys on the team. Still, this team is so bad right now. They need a complete overhaul and I don't know how they're going to do it when they have all these guys, uh, you know, that they, I think they want to keep. And, um, I mean, after and see you, I, you know, I've been, I've been on after and see you ever since I started making these videos since, you know, the season started, I have not liked after and see you on the team. I know a lot of fans do, but I just I just don't think he's good. I don't think he's a great player at all. Um, you know, defensively he's atrocious. Um, and then offensively, you know, if he's got the puck on his stick and he enters into the offensive blue line, you know that nothing's gonna happen. Like it, it always ends up in a turnover. And you know, he he has speed. I don't think he uses it enough. You look at Kempe and Wagner. Look, Wagner doesn't finish things. Kempe is a very streaky player, but. I feel like they utilize their speed very well. They're, you know, Wagner, it seems like every game he's going to get a breakaway. And he's not going to score on the breakaway, but he's getting the breakaway. And Kempe uses his speed a lot. You see it on the power play. Um, you know, you see it in the four check. And Athens, he just doesn't use his amazing speed enough to, to make him a, as good of a player as he can be. And I don't know. It's frustrating to see him on the second line. It's frustrating that... They didn't try and get something for him when he looked a lot better uh, at the trade deadline than he does right now. 
So I don't know what the plan is. I don't know if he's if they're going to let him walk. I don't know if they want to re-sign him, but I feel like that was a mistake. And then, you know, I follow it's that's a tough one because I follow is a very good player. I just think you know, I I feel like they're they could have done something to get him, you know, get stuff for him. Um you you hear a lot about, "Oh, Alex I follow he's, he's so good at the little things." Uh, but you look at a game like tonight and like we get dominated. We're getting dominated by teams that aren't doing the little things against us. They're doing big things against us. They're just dominating us in our defensive zone. They're scoring goals at will. And us, I follow isn't that kind of player. And when you talk about a first line winger, who's playing with your captain, your best player on Jay Kopitar, there needs to be more skill there. And, and it's just not there. Um, and then the other first liner, Dustin Brown. I mean, Dustin Brown's been non-existent for a while. And uh, it's it's been sad to see because he had such a good resurgence in the first half of the season. It was really fun to watch. It was fun to, you know, make the jokes about his his kids saying that he sucked. But right now, he does suck. I mean, he's, he's bringing that first line down in skill so much. And uh, it's it's hurting Kopitar. It's hurting the team. Um and it's rough, you know, it's rough to watch. And when you see the Ducks benching Getzloff, uh, you know, it starts making you think like maybe maybe the Kings need to bench Brown for a game because he's put in very little effort. Um, and it's it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense this far into the season when there's no hope for the playoffs. Why aren't we giving the younger guys more ice time? Why are we continuing to put out that first line that – can't get it done unless Kopitar takes over himself. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where the rest of the season goes. I mean, it's going to be a, a tough last few games. The only bright spots are, you know, the three other games that Byfield is going to play this year. That'll be fun to watch. Hopefully Kopitar can, can crack the thousand points. I, I mean, he was, he looked like a lock for it a few months ago, and now it's it's kind of getting to crunch time, and I'm a little worried that he might not get there this year, but I'm sure he will, and that'll be a fun a fun night to celebrate him, just like Ryan Miller was celebrated tonight. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough sailing for the last little bit. We're playing some good teams, and I'll be here for them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't blame you guys if you don't want to stick around because it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be pretty. And uh, I don't know. Next year can't come soon enough. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, follow for more post-game reviews. Um and just let's hope that there's some fun things to talk about. Some milestones, first goals, thousand points coming up because uh, right now there's just very little fun in the in the team right now.